Welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelation, everybody. I am Yokel, or you can call me Count Yokula. Blah ha ha. Yep, I, I'm still doing the Dracula jokes. The cape is too funny. <laughs> uh, today's episode, we got a lot of stuff to cover, so I'm going to get right into it real quick with a quick recap of what I've done since the last episode. I have, uh, as you can probably tell, removed quite a bit of the astral sorcery stuff because we're going to move it around today and make it. A little bit more efficient, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and I don't know, hopefully maybe just a little bit automated. Uh, so I needed to get some nether quartz for a few different things that I that I have planned, and so I needed to go to the nether. So I needed to get some obsidian. So I made some in my smeltery with lava that I took from the source that I... Um, that, that I get it from, and with water. And I wanted to kind of make things go faster than me throwing buckets in there. So I filled one of these portable tanks with water, and I did it with a fluid transfer node. But I had to put an upgrade mining, or a mining upgrade in it, in order to actually pull water out of this pond. To do that, I needed to make a resonator, because that's how you make these things. You make them in a resonator. Resonators work on this uh, strange power source from Extra Utilities 2 called Grid Power. You can see down there below there's Grid Power, blah, blah, blah. It's draining too, yada, yada, yada. So I needed a power source, and the one that I went with, because that's the only thing I'm doing with it right now, so I don't need a lot, is I made solar panels. And these are actually fairly cheap to make. They only generate one power each, but I have nine of them. So I have a total of nine Grid Power. You can see that's uh, over there on the right-hand side next to Grid Power. And uh, apparently I'm using 3.06 of my grid power doing something. <laughs> Let's see, what is it? Uh, I uh, That one says it's using 2.06. Oh, wait, is it because of the speed buffs? Oh, uh, hey, you know, I never noticed that actually. So the speed upgrades. Oh, yeah, well, I guess if I read it would tell me that. Yeah, so I have two speed upgrades in here, also made in the resonator. Okay, all right, that explains that. Cool. Hey, we all learned something today. Case closed. All right, thanks a lot, guys. That's been, no. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I made the obsidian, and I made the uh, the grid power stuff. Um, if you're not sure how to make lava, or excuse me, obsidian inside your smeltery, basically you need to remove one of these faucets so that you can take buckets of lava and water and pour them through that drain into the smeltery, or you can use a tank and some conduits and stuff and uh, pour it in that way, and that's what I did. All right, so moving right along, I, I quote, so I said I had to go to the nether, so I did make a nether portal. It's it's in here right now. I have a little bit of uh, decorating to do to it, I think, but I think it's in a fine location. I'm not going to show you the nether. I mean, I might. I might show you a little bit of footage. As a matter of fact, there might be a little bit of it, a little bit of it rolling in the background right now, but the, it was just a standard trip to the nether. I nearly got creepered. Uh, I started pretty much on top of a tree over lava. I got my resources. I got out. Yeah. The end. <laughs> One thing I discovered, though, and this was a little disappointing, I have to say. I was a little disappointed to find this out because it took me a while of research and testing and banging my head to actually realize this is what the problem was. But when I went to a different dimension and I came back, all of my astral sorcery stuff stopped working. And that was annoying. <laughs> I tested and I, did, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what was wrong. Finally, I came across uh, information online that said, oh, yeah, it's uh, the power system's kind of borked. Uh, so you literally have to close down the entire game and restart it, which if you play modded, you know that can be kind of a pain in the tuchus. So we will keep that in mind while we are roaming around our base and doing stuff. If we need to go to another dimension, we'll try to strategically, you know, save that to the end or something like that. Anyway, I am rambling. Um, let's get on with the thing that we're going to do today. So what I want to do is I want to take our altar... And I want to put it, uh, I actually just kind of want to scoot it over a little bit. <laughs> I'm not doing a whole lot with it, but I just, I want to scoot it over just a little bit. I want to take this big honking dude over here and I want to put him over there. So we're going to line everything up uh, north south like this, or south north, however that works. Yeah. We're going to line everything up going this way. And then that's going to let me put uh, collector crystals and all that kind of stuff in, a, in better locations so that we can actually get to them. So. How I'm going to do that, though, is the fun part. That the, What I'm doing isn't really that fun. How I'm going to do it is going to be the fun part. And what we're going to do is we are going to use RF Tools. We're going to use the RF Tools Builder. And we just need to... Did I do it? Oh, I did. Look at that, guys. I made the bricks ahead of time. Yay! <laughs> 
All right. Um, I do believe we need a machine frame. Yeah, we're going to need the... Uh, some nuggets for that and some obsidian for that and I'll probably need plenty of iron for all of this. So the machine frames are kind of the backbone for a lot of the RF tools machines and um, they're pretty cheap to make which is very nice of them. All right we got us an ender stone. I'm sorry what did that say? Oh yeah redstone. Derp. Redstone. Then there we go. There is our builder, and by itself, it doesn't do a whole lot. So let's uh, set it over here. I can start getting a little power. Yeah, I just got this kind of auxiliary generator sitting here to make power for us. It's not a good solution for the long term, but it's going to work for for now. To power this thing, because we're going to take it around with us, we're going to make power cells, and we're going to need some more machine frames. Let's just go ahead. And, oh, two. Perfect, because I need two more. Uh, I need to make up some blocks of redstone, and so I guess I better grab some. There we go. Wait, did I make these already? Let me make sure I didn't do this ahead of time, too. I don't think I did. No, I don't see them in there. Okay, great. So let's make these uh, redstone blocks. So one, two, three, four. Uh-oh. I need one more, aren't I? How much do I have left? Two stacks of redstone. Getting low. Going to have to go uh, get more serious about uh, resource collecting here pretty soon. Uh, I think I'm starting to run through some of the uh, the, uh, the first round of, of collection. Um, emeralds. Yes, how do we get emeralds? We can... Can we make them out of something? Uh, maybe not. Okay, well, we might only be able to make one power cell right now. Uh, mark it, huh? No, I want it the other way around. Um, I'll figure this out, but I think we, we can still make one power cell, and that will be fine for now. So let's do that. We're going to need diamond, and we're going to need the Prisma Marine shards, and I believe that is one of the reasons I needed to go to... Nope. Wait a minute. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I needed the nether quartz because I can zap up some Prisma Marine shards here. And let's see. There they are. I didn't get a ton, as you can see, but hopefully I got enough for, for what we need to do uh, in the, uh, the immediate present here. Great. Okay. So we'll make uh, one power cell. And I can just stick the rest of this stuff back in here for now. And let's put him on top of here so he starts to power up. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to need a need a wrench, too. That is, uh, I think that takes lapis also. So let's see here. Wrench. Wrench, wrench. There we go. And I, there may be a better way to do this. I haven't figured it out. I actually, uh, the only way I know to do it is to set up first. And let's see. That is input. Yeah, and that's what we want. And I take it down, and then I can go over here and set it down, and there we go. Now it's get now it's getting RF. Great. Okay. I mean, I know I can like I think I shift click it, and then like all the sides turn to one input or output or something like that. But that's not what I want. I want to do do them individually. Okay. While that charges up, we should probably make. Um, well, let's see. If we only have one cell, then I don't think we need this power card. Let me let me double check that. But I think this is only if we actually. Yeah, if we need to connect uh, multiple cells together, and we're not going to do that right now. So we don't need to worry about that. But what we do need, and this is the part that I'm really kind of uh, excited about, is the space chamber stuff, because I've never used one of these. Uh, oh, I, I practiced with it a little bit, uh, but um, on the creative, uh, uh, you know, on a creative map, but I haven't actually used them with my real stuff yet. So I'm a little excited, a little nervous about that. Um, let's see, where's, we have sand, yeah. Okay, let's cook up some sand. Uh, what else? What are we going to need for these corner blocks? We're going to need... All right, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need eight of these. We need eight of these, so we better cook up some more sand. Oh, man. Am I out of lapis? Um, hmm, I might be. <laughs> Doggone it. Okay, well, I might be going down into the mine sooner than I thought. I didn't want to have to go in there today. Uh, I do have one of these... Mm, yeah, because these need four each, right? Yeah, that's that's rough, G. Okay, well let's let's go ahead and make a few of these. And let's see, we need two redstone torches. 
for you have to I'll tell you about these guys in just a second here what they do okay so the space chamber is gonna allow us to basically move this thing without having to break it down and reset it up we're just gonna we're gonna use the builder to uh, make a take a copy of it and move it over all right how are we doing we need eight we have to have all four uh, all eight corners though uh, here I'll show you let's do it we're gonna take the space chamber and we're gonna put it right here uh, because it's going to take everything that way from it so everything above it and that direction because I'm gonna put the other block over there the the other uh, space chamber block over there the corner and then we'll have to put uh, corners on well all the corners and I was a little disappointed I figured I could put one on this corner and I could put one on that corner and then it, it could extrapolate out the rectangle from there but no you actually have to mark off all four corners and I wonder if that's not just uh, maybe kind of for a balance thing because this is a pretty powerful uh, tool when, once you get it all uh, uh, revved up and you know actually using it it was the other thing that I'm not sure about is how much power it's gonna take I mean it might it might take a ton of power too uh, it's uh, it's one thing to do it on the creative world where you have a creative power cell and you don't really pay attention to how much power you're using and it's another thing entirely to to uh, to do it in the uh, in the wild so to speak all right we'll make our space chamber card there we go that's what's gonna hold the uh, design for us it's gonna just hold it in memory there and our last space chamber corner block so let's go set those up look at that I still got two lapis left Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I hope that was right. <laughs> if not, I'll be going back up, won't I? Okie dokie. Let's just clean this up real quick. Okay, now what we do is we grab our ranch, our RF Tools wrench, and we go over here and we give it a, a gentle little right click. Bing. There we go. Chamber successfully created. Hooray! Next, we take our space chamber card, and you can see it says channel is not set. Uh, what does that say? Sneak right click. Set it, yeah. 500 RF tick per block. <laughs> it's gonna, this may not work. <laughs> now that the space chamber is all set up, we can grab our builder, which is oh so struggling to fill with power. Oh, this is never going to work. <laughs> Probably in the time it would take for me to actually charge this thing up and use it. <laughs> I could just I could just uh, move all that stuff by hand. What do we need for the um, diesel generator from Immersive Engineering? Let's just take a look at that. I mean, obviously we would need to make the Coke oven and the blast furnace and all of that stuff right away. Yeah, that might be a fun way to go to figure out where we could put it see I'm running into this thing where I'm, I'm reluctant to start new areas of the base until I actually finish kind of putting the astral sorcery base together because I want to have it like you know there it is and now I can build this way because I know I don't need this space over here you know what I mean but uh, I guess I'll just have to be bold and uh, maybe we'll do the immersive engineering right out here I think this will give us enough room. Well, I'll just take a take another look here. How is this doing? Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right. Well, that cell finishes up. Let's go move. Let's put this where we want it. And right along this little plateau right here is where the starlight gathers most intently. So. It's kind of in the right line that way. Um, I'm gonna move it over just a tiny bit, I think. And I want it higher, I want it higher up. There we go, okay, there we go. And let's see, we wanna set it to move. We're gonna move it from there to here. You know, when you're moving it, do you need to give it the, the supplies? I suppose you don't, but I will do it anyway, <laughs> just because I don't know. I don't want to mess up anything. Pretty sure you can put it underneath it, and that works just fine. I think I have everything else. All right, you ready? Not quite. How is this going over here? Let's take a look at Brick Bricktopia. How many of these can we make right now? Three. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> what? 
There we go. That's more like it. Hold on. Hold the phone. I swore I had an engineer's hammer. I suppose I don't. Okay. There's the engineer's hammer. Oh, yeah, look at that. Didn't have it. Right here. Right here. I think that is kind of... I think that's in the, the zone where mobs can get to it, but that's okay. Whack it with our hammer. Boom! There we go. We got a coke oven. And get it going right away. Are you done? You are done. All right. Let's 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 see how this works. This is going to be so utterly disappointing. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so we do need to make a lever. Okay. Put a power outlet on it. There we go. That's out. Okay. We'll put our lever on it. That's not a lever. <laughs> and... Oh, that's not bad. That's not using hardly any energy at all. Look at that. Oh, it even took the little lights with it. Look at that. Cool. I figured it wouldn't take those. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Well, there you go, guys. That is uh, That was worth the effort, I think. Awesome. Oh, that is so exciting. I, I thought we were I thought we were boned there, guys. I thought we were totally boned. All right, cool. So we've got that moved. Let's get our uh, altar back up on it. Okay. Uh, just so the mobs can't chase me. <laughs> Let's see. Where is that? Is that the middle? Nope. Is that the middle? Yep, that's middle that way. Middle that way. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Did I center that? <laughs> I thought it, I centered it there for a second. That'd been really funny. Uh, the, uh, let's see. Let's, I tell you what, let's set up the uh, celestial collector crystal next. There we go, and hopefully, yeah, there we go, we got our blue sparklies, hooray! Take a look here, are you juiced? You are not juiced, not even, not even really a little bit. Okay, let's juice it up, juice it up. Boom, full, middle of the day, huzzah! Uh, I could probably leave this up too, because I think I'm gonna make it grass up here, instead of the, uh, Planks. I'll probably have like kind of a plank boardwalk that goes through it, but I want to make it mostly grassy. Yeah. Don't need that though. <laughs> That's a waste. So again, we're going to tell it to move. This time I'm just going to go with the power that's in it and see if that's enough. Yeah, totally. Why did it stop? Oh, it's, it's going through all the air. That's what it's doing. What's this? <laughs> Why did that not go? Oh, the grass. That's all right. I can just rerun it after it gets done. And it'll put those in for me. I don't know if this actually saved me any time, but it sure was fun. <laughs> I got to use the builder. That was neat. Let's see. All right, let's run it one more time here. I should finish filling this in. Yep, there we go. Before I go, I just want to do one last little thing with this builder. And I want to use it to do a little mining for me. I just need to make this uh, quarry card here, and uh, then we can head down. I've, I've put it way down here in the bottom of my mine, and uh, I realized I didn't need to do that. I probably could have done it from the surface, but I'm down here now, so <laughs> Let, down we go. I thought I would do this because I needed redstone, and I needed lapis, and etc., etc., and I, I have this thing, and it can clear out this area a lot faster than I can. All right, let's see here. Uh, I won't be able to see the preview, I don't think. Let's see, unless I do something like this. Uh, let's 
see. What is this set to? Maybe I should double check here. 16 by 16 offset. I don't need to offset it, I don't think. Yeah? Okay. Uh, why is it going this way? <laughs> I thought it came off the back of it. That's not right. Hang on a second. What's going on here? Did I... Oh, maybe that's... Is it, is it XZY? Is that what it is? Not XYZ? Ooh, I can void stuff? Yeah, let's void stuff. What? <laughs> what on earth? Why is it over here? No, yeah, that's why. That was why. 32, yeah. WTRF tools, man. Well, you know what? Let's just do it. Hit it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I have a feeling the floor that I'm standing on is going to go away. Not enough power! <laughs> Let's see what happened though. Look at that! Wow! <laughs> Where did it pull it from? Ooh, up there. Let's get our power cells stuck on here. Boom. Coming this way? Out of power? Not enough power. Well, that sucked us dry real fast. Kind of hoping to get some of the uh, little redstone-y uh, crystals from uh, Extra Utilities. That's one of the things I was looking for. But uh, that's okay. I'll take that stuff. Where? <laughs> Still a little baffled as to why it went that way. I thought it was supposed to go off the back of the builder. Uh, I guess not. All right. I'm going to grab my toys here. That was fun. And let's see, let's go, I saw, <laughs> I saw the lapis that I need right over here, so let's go grab it. Let's see if maybe get some of those redstone crystals over here. I believe we can make them too if we don't find enough. Let's see, the recipe for that? Yeah, I just need a piece of an ender shard. Okay. Well, guys, that is going to do it for today. That's all I have time for. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something about uh, something. I did. I learned a lot about the RF Tools Builder, and I learned uh, I learned about my uh, my knowledge about the RF Tool Builder. Apparently, it was less complete than I thought. <laughs> so, yeah, still have no idea how it decided where it was going to start uh, breaking blocks, but uh, whatever. Got some nice resources out of it, and uh, yeah, it's time for me to process some of that stuff. I will continue continue to work on the astral sorcery area in the, in the meantime and get more of this stuff set back up the way that it needs to be set up and uh, I, I really want to uh, upgrade this mantle of the stars and uh, explore some of the other fun stuff that's in the mod like some of the, the flying or pseudo flying stuff I think that would be fun I'm ready to go exploring for some things so anyway thanks for coming guys I appreciate your uh, your likes and your comments and your uh, your, your, your subscriptions and uh, all the kind words and, and all that good stuff so thanks for coming by guys and have a good one I'll see you in the next one uh, bye bye